You were losing 2 0, and you took off Edin Dzeko yeah. and brought on Nigel de Jong. Can you tell us your thinking behind that substitution? No, because I wanted that for five minutes to calm uh, everything, don't concede a third goal, and after I put Carlos Tevez uh, in the pitch. So, so what happened? Why didn't you bring. Uh, what happened that he refused to go in? He refused to come yeah. onto the pitch? He refused to come on the pitch. Yeah. That's an extraordinary situation. Do you think he will ever play for you again after refusing to play? Uh, for me, it's a bad situation because in a game like this, uh, it's impossible that one player refuse to, to go in to help uh, the team. Uh, also, if it's disappointed because he didn't play. But uh, we play with 11 players. This is impossible. Did he offer any reason or explanation, or did he just say, no, I'm not playing? Yeah. yeah. You also had an exchange of words with Edin Dzeko, who, of course, was disappointed yeah, to come he off. He was disappointed, but, uh, but uh, the manager, I think, that uh, can do what he thinks. Uh, I thought that it was, uh, was important like this. We play every three days. One player can, can play very well every game. And uh, in that moment, I thought uh, that it was better like this. And also for Zek, for Edin, uh, I need to speak with you, with him. You also had words with Pablo Zabletta too. No, with Pablo, I made a mistake because I thought that uh, was there. No, no, Pablo, we, I spoke with Pablo now, no, nothing. OK, but the overall picture is, is one of disharmony, not unity. Do you have a problem now? I think tonight we had a problem in this game. Before, we never had a problem because we started the season very well. All the players played, uh, but I can't accept that one player refused to go in. I can't accept this. If it was up to you, would he even be in training tomorrow? Would you not want to see him again? Tomorrow is a day off. Roberto, thanks for talking to You're us. Welcome.